to factorize this, okay, there's many ways to do it, okay, but I'm just trying to focus on one techniques, okay, that's all, and it, it, it can factorize any questions, okay. Um, first of all, step number one, okay, you look at this side first, okay, this side here is a positive. Now, if this is a positive, what I do, I just copy this out, okay, whatever that side is. So, therefore, it will be, okay, x plus and x plus, okay. Then you ask yourself questions. What time what give me 6, okay? What time what give me 6 and then add, okay, to give me 5, okay? Because the 5 is here, okay? Now, something times something, give me 6 and add up, give me 5. So you just, if you're not, not sure, just list all the factors out, okay? So 6 is 6 6 times 1, okay, or 3 times 2. Now, which of those add up, give me 5? That's right, 3 and 2. So you can just put 3, 2 here, okay, or you can put 2 here, okay, you can put 2 here and 3 here. Doesn't matter where you put because both are the same size, okay? Let's move on next one, right? Look, number 2. Let's say x squared plus 7x, okay, plus 12, okay. Now, step number one, look at this side, okay, is a plus, okay. So, therefore, I just copy, okay, whatever this side is, okay. So, I just go x plus and x plus, okay. Then you ask yourself questions. What time what give me 12, okay, and add up give me? 7 because it's add okay that's why we, that's why we add so because 12 is let's say 12 is 2 times 6 right or 3 times 4 okay which is 12 or 1 times 12 okay now which of those add up give me 7 okay the only one is 3 and 4 okay 3 times 4 is 12 and then add to give me 7 so your answer is 3 and 4. Or you put 4 and 3. As I said earlier, doesn't matter where you put 3 or 4 because both are positive, all right? Uh, both positive, this means like this is positive, this is positive. That's why it doesn't matter where you put. Okay. Let's say number 3. Number 3. Let's say x squared, okay, at 13x plus 36, right? Remember, okay? First, look at this. It's a plus. So, therefore, I just copy whatever this size is, okay? So, I'm going to put x plus, all right? And x plus. Then, what time what give me 36? Okay? And add, because of this add, okay? Add to give me 13. So, 36 is... If you think about it, 36 is 4 times 9, okay? 4 times 9 is 36. Add up, give me 13, okay? Now, this is come with a lot of practice, okay? If you do a lot of practice, and then you will get the answer quickly. And plus, you, of course, you need to know your, your multiplication skill. If you use calculator, it still works, but it's a bit slower. That's all. At the end of the day, you get the same answer. But you need a lot of practice. That's all. So let's go. So 3 and 9, I mean 4 and 9, so it, it doesn't matter where, which, where I put 9 or 4, doesn't matter. Okay, both same side, so 3 and 9 and 4, that's all. Okay, let's say number 4. And can, you can try, okay, do ahead of me, and if you like, okay, otherwise just watch I've, what I do, and then you'll learn from, from watching. Okay, let's say 45, sorry, this is 45, i just swap this off. So 45. Look, this side is a plus. So I just go x plus, just copy that out, of course. Okay, if it's a positive, I just copy. So you got x plus. Then what time what give me 45? Add to give me 14. Okay, what time what give me 45? Add to give me 14. So um, 45 is, let's say, 45 is 5 and 9, okay? 4 times 9, okay, is 
45. I mean, 5 times 9 is 45. And then add, it gives me 14. Okay? So, otherwise, just list all these out. 45, you know, you can say 1 times 45, yeah? And so on. So, you just list them out and until you see it. But if you're good with your multiplication skill, you can just ask yourself a question ahead and then just write out from there. So, this is 5 and 9. Okay? Again, don't forget, okay? Look at this side first and then you work out from there. Okay? Let's go number 5. I just do a few of those as the same same um, process so you can get the hang of it. Let's say y squared plus 10y, okay, plus 24. All right? What do I do? Good. I look at this side. Beautiful. Right? And then what I do next? Exactly. You look at this side. Okay, it's a plus. So just copy this one out. Y plus and then y plus. All right? Then you go, what time what give me 24 at? We got this add here, add to give me 10. So 24, okay, it can be 12 and 2, give me 24, 4 and 6, or 8 and 3. Okay, so I stop there because I know that 4 times 6 is 24, and then add will give me, add them together, give me 10. So your answer is 4 and 6, or 6 and 4, doesn't matter. As I said earlier, again, because it's both sides are positive, so it doesn't matter. Both side means, don't confuse with the top, okay? Both side means, I'm, I'm talking about this side and this side positive. So it doesn't matter where you put four or five, um, four or six, whichever side, okay? So, sorry, just swap this up. So four and six or six and four, okay? That's the answer. All right, let's do a couple more, okay? Just to give you, okay, a few more practice. Now, let's say number six. Let's say... Let's say y, okay, square plus 12y, okay, plus 32. Okay, you notice that they're all the same. So you should be able to do it, okay? Shouldn't have any problem, okay? So I look at this, it's positive, so I, I just copy this out, okay? So both positive, okay? So I just do both positive. So this is, I just copy that out, copy this, which is y plus, okay, y plus plus okay then what time what give me 32 add to give me 12 okay if you if you do multiple you know multiple questions and then and then you could with your fact um multiplication skill you should just notice that a and four because a times four is 32 okay add will give me 10 agree okay so if again if you're not sure just list them out you just start like you like 16 times 2 you know what I mean and uh, 3 I mean 4 times 8 and you stop because you realize that that's the same okay so that's a process now number 7 okay number 7 look uh, p square okay plus 10p okay plus 21 okay so what I do same thing, I look at this, it's a positive, so I just copy whatever that side is, so which is equal, P plus, okay, and then P plus, all right? P plus and P plus. So I just try to get rid of the Y, okay. Doesn't seem to work properly. Okay, it's all right, I just rewrite underneath, sorry. Um, which is equal to P plus, all right, and P plus. Now, what time what give me, okay, 21, and then add, okay, to give me 10. Okay, the only answer is 7 and 3, because 7 times 3 is 21. 7 plus 3 is 10, okay? So it can be 21 times 1, but it doesn't add up, give me it add up, give me the, um, 22, so it doesn't work, so I've called only this, okay? So which is 7 and 3, or 3 and 7, okay? Now, let me run this one, okay? Number 8. All right, let's say x squared. This is just slightly different because I'm negative instead of positive in front of um, x. So we just write this first. Okay, now, it's the same process. Just remember, step number one, just look at this side here, okay? It's a plus. So, I just copy 
what are these sides? Okay, so I just copy x minus and x minus. Okay, then you ask yourself questions. Okay, what time what give me 15? Okay, this is 15, sorry. And then add up, give me 8. Okay, what time what give me 15, add up, give me 8? Well, 3 and 5, that's right, because 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, and of course not 1 times 15, because 1 times 15 is correct, equal 15, but doesn't add up, give me 8. So the only answer is 3 and 5. Again, where do I put 3, where do I put 5? Again, it doesn't matter because it's a positive, so both are, po um, both are the same side on here, so you can just put 3 there and 5 there, okay? Or 5 here, 3 there, doesn't matter, because they're both in here, they're both the same size, so it doesn't matter what where you put, okay, with the numbers. All right, so let's say number 9. Sorry, i just get this, read this. Okay, number 9, let's say x squared, okay, minus 7x plus 6. Right now, look at this positive. All right, so I just write down x and just copy this out. So x minus and x minus. Then what time what give me six? Okay, add to give me seven. Okay, so it should be six and one because six times one is six. Add together, give me seven. And again, because both are negative. Okay, so I don't care where I put it. Okay, so 1 and 6. Or you can write 6 and 1. Alright? Okay, now let's go number 10. Okay, let's say 10. Let's say P squared minus 9P plus 8. Positive. So I just write P, copy this side down. P minus, okay, and P minus. What time what give me 8? Add, okay, to give me 9. 2 and 4? No, 2 and 4 add up, give me 6. So 1 and 9, 1 and 8, that's the only answer. Okay, so 1 and 8. So this is 1, 8. Okay, or, or you can write 8, okay, 8 and 1. Doesn't matter, okay, I just want to show you doesn't matter where you put because both are negative so it's will be okay now next one 11 okay so x square minus 18x plus 77 okay so you just look at this side first so that give me add so i just add to give me 18 something times something uh, something times seven um Something times something, give me 77, add up, give me 18. But before that, I just use a plus, I just copy the negative side on both of them. Okay, because add means same. Same means you have to copy whatever the, the coefficient of x, whatever that side is. So x minus, okay? Now, what time what give me 77 and add up, give me 18? So 11 and 7, right? Not 77 times 1 because add up doesn't give me 18. So 11 and 7. So if but I th then I can put 11, 7 on this side, or 7 here, 11 here. Doesn't matter. All right? Let's say next one. Okay, let's say number 12. Last one. Okay, you did so well. Okay, let's say 12. All right? So let's say x squared minus 13x, right? And then plus 40. Yeah. Add. So I just copy this out, both negative. Okay, so x minus x minus. Okay. What time what give me 40 add? Okay, to give me 13. That's right, 5 and 8. Okay, again, if you're still not good with your um Multiplication, you list them out. Okay, 40. What time I give me 40? 40 and 1. 2 and 20. Yeah? 4 and 10. None of these add up, give me 13. So I do it until I find 1. Okay, that add up, give me 13. Alright, but if you do a lot of exercise, 
Okay, a lot of practice, it will come naturally, okay? So not to worry, it's come with practice. All right, so five and eight, okay? Or you can put eight and five, doesn't matter. Thank you for watching the video.